so many people say like, oh, I'm a preacher's kid, you know, and uh, my daddy preached every Wednesday at that church or whatever. Um, but for, for my family, preaching was a family business. You know, my grandfather owned a church on 25th and Warren in South Philly. And, um, you know, my dad took it over. And for all my childhood, I was going to be like um, the third you know, generation sort of like take over the church. So until I was like 12, um, I wanted to be a preacher. That's sort of when I fell in love with performance. Poetry specifically gave me a voice. Uh, it was sort of this thing. No one in my family writes poetry. It's, it's this very weird thing. Like everyone sings, you know, my family full of singers. But I'm like, hey, like, I like poems. Like, you know. um, I just fell in love with language. And it was very important to me that no one else did it in my family because I was like, this is mine. You know, like no one encouraged this with me. This is my own thing. This is my own passion. And so I started saying things on stage that I would never be able to anywhere else. So it was this sort of reclamation for me of identity, of voice, of individuality. Growing up in the church just made me so it made everything, everything was so serious as a kid. Everything was life or death, you know, it was heaven or hell. And that's made my artistry very goofy. Like now I, I just like to have fun. Um, I do think there is a aspect of my art that is very uh, activist. And I like to talk about social issues and things, but it's always with an air of, of, of levity because I think especially black people should be able to just have fun um, in a world that, you know, sort of doesn't want us to survive. Um, and specifically growing up with this sort of weight on my shoulders of like, you know, I have to be doing God's will and, you know, all these things that I was told as a child. Poets are just the coolest, you know? They're just, poets are going to save the world because Poets are the keepers of the stories of the world. We, we hold on to the things that the world wants to forget, the histories that people want to forget because they're bloody and they're ugly. And the poets, we don't have that luxury of forgetting, but we have to remember. And, uh, <laughs> and I'm happy to be that person. I'm a reflection of the world. Uh, I hold a mirror up to the world and say, like, and I say, this is what you are, you know? Um, and I love it. Yeah.